jack it up. Derek Ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson and very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League it's West Ham United versus Manchester United well Derek when looking forward to this game you can't help but notice there are some great oh could it be Antonio oh he's missed the chance to open the scoring well that would have been a great start to the game but that's a bad miss The high press was very much on. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea starts in goal. Aaron Wan-Bissaka starts alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Fred starts alongside Scott McTominay in midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, possibilities in the centre. Must take the lead here. Couldn't quite hang on. In it goes! Second time of asking, and the keeper feels hung out to dry. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Bruno Fernandes. Marcus Rashford. It's with McTominay. Now they're on the scent of something positive. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Rashford. McTominay. 
Touched onto the woodwork. Suchek. Jared Bowen. A really sumptuous ball. Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Marcus Rashford. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes. Is it going to be? And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. And it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! On they go again, and United beginning to run away with this. Spot on with that tackle. That's how to beat your opponent. Well, he's lost the ball. Antonio. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. And taking it away. Marcus Rashford. It's with McTominay. Greenwood Scott McTominay here is Fred opportunity it is well there is a very alert goalkeeper for you Jared Bowen effective pressure to regain possession Rashford great block And so it is. So the ball moving again. United having already made a big first half statement. Fred. the ball Mikael Antonio and that'll be offside read it magnificently and intercepted well not the pass he had in mind Declan Rice. Suchek. For Niles. For Niles. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And they have possession again. Well, going for power from there but not worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest. Thirty minutes to go then. An effective challenge. Running room galore for United. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And the perfect position to read it. Well, no stopping him. McTominay. On to Ronaldo. Well, what a stop that was. Playing it in. Danger averted for now. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. 
McTominay. Antonio. And West Ham being afforded too much space here. The high press was very much on. And a throw in forthcoming. So the final whistle almost upon us. And this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, this is certainly a performance to forget because they've been totally outplayed today. How many times have they been opened up during this game? They have to defend better than this. It's been a dismal display. For now. Oh, a nice looking pass. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Rashford. Here's Ronaldo. Rashford. Shaw. Keeping it moving dynamically. Oh, great play. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. And there's the delivery. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. And intercepted it. Juan Bisaka. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Could play it in. Well, a good tackle. Has eyes for goal. And danger still. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And there it is, the full-time...
here in East London, in Stratford to be exact. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United up against Arsenal. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Suchek. Antonio. Pablo Fornals. Might go ahead. It's got to be. And a goal. Not wasting much time today. They strike first. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Lacazette. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? Marvellous anticipation. And you don't want to lose possession there. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Antonio. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, that is how to run at defenders. Perfect challenge. And fed forwards. Obama Young. Surely the equaliser. Suchek. In possession, Bowen. Slipshod passing. Opportunity here. Threat over for now, it seems. Declan Rice. Antonio. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Space afforded him. And with that, they attack fizzles out Said Benrama did well to win the ball back the Hammers have it back so almost at half time and they are making good use of home advantage still a bit of work to do though Stuart your thoughts on what you've seen Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Lacazette. Saka. Now he must favour the cross. Partey. And will it be the leveller? Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Really good high press. No way through. And there it is, the half-time whistle. the second half underway West Ham with the lead but I tell you what it's a long way from being settled Antonio Rice with it well, let's see if something comes of this this could be the equaliser and it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. 
So a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Tierney. The Hammers come away with it. Lacazette. Partey. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Lacazette here. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, as you can see, West Ham have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. But attacking possibilities. Antonio. Suchek. Far from a good pass. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. An important interception. Declan Rice. Paul Niles. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. It's looking promising. And an attempt best forgotten, I think. Thomas Partey. An encouraging Arsenal move. Now well, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Fifteen minutes left for play. Suchek. Said Ben Rama. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. And pressing really high. And that puts them in position. Lacazette. Excellent save. Well, you're absolutely right. It's a top quality save, but they're running out of time here. And there's the delivery. Well, not the best clearance. And Lacazette. Well, this is building up to a nail-biting finish. These West Ham fans are making so much noise here, but can they get this equaliser? Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Paul Niles counter-attacking very much an option Paul Niles oh, quite simply the cross was too close to the keeper making sure nothing untoward happened Antonio So there goes the final whistle. It ends at a...
scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Mason Greenwood. And space for him to cut in. Superb block. Bukayo Saka. Obama Yang. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Oh, a superb save. Given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Totally fooled him. Going for the dink. And that's how to deal with finesse. Well, it's an easy save for the keeper. It wasn't the best option, that's for sure. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. They might be able to get in now. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. And they're playing again, and Arsenal are leading. That's just a natural reader of the game, Fred. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Bukayo Saka. And back with Ramsdale. Tommy Yasu. And showing fine vision. Real chance. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited. Well, a second goal for them here. Just not looking confident in possession. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? And Lacazette... This is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Cristiano Ronaldo. That's how to dispossess your opponent. Lovely first touch. That wasn't easy. And a long way out. It's still alive. Well, threat about it. Well, you won't see too many better saves than that. It was just brilliant. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. Corner awarded to Arsenal. And a no-nonsense clearance. Good-looking sequence. Oh, great piece of individual skill. And tremendous individual skill. And United have the corner. Elects to go short. And a useful cross. And the problem not completely solved. But a time for calm on the ball. Oh, lovely incisive pass. And nicely struck. Oh, my goodness, what a strike from so far out. Absolutely sensational. Un Into the second half after a dominant first-half performance by Arsenal. Bruno Fernandes. It's a perfect challenge. Well, he hit it with authority. Close.
he put it away. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Partey. Really getting stuck in. Ronaldo. It needs an accurate cross. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Ben White. Thomas. And now passing it through. Running with the ball confidently. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Cristiano Ronaldo. Lacazette. Saka it has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in Lokonga Bukayo Saka and they know they need to stop him and Aubameyang in the centre well the danger is still there Scott McTominay this might be ideal for the counter. Chance to play it in. Happy to take on the shot. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Fifteen minutes left for play. Well, not very clever defending. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. What an important piece of defending. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, it must be mighty annoying when you can't get near the ball. A good and fair challenge. Well, not the pass he had in mind. McTominay. Ronaldo. Takes aim. And still danger here. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. And that was a very fine read. Going forward well, Aubameyang and a useful cross. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. And we will have just one additional minute. So there goes the final.
from one of the newer venues here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Ham United versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And you've got to say, meat and drink to those in the wall. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique, and awareness. Oh, they could be in here, Stewart. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. And space available inside. Nicely blocked. And he did well to cut it out. Sancho. This could square the game. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Foiling his opponent completely. Just cutting off the supply. Well, they're so unlucky not to be level now. It was a great effort. You just wonder if they're going to regret that. Aware of the threat. Solving the problem. Oh, good work by the keeper. Must be, and he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Lanzini. United regaining possession. Outrageously skillful. Cristiano Ronaldo. An important interception. Antonio. And a very good challenge. Really closing him down here. Suchek. Oh, breezing past him. Well, then there's a tidy up. And providing width. Well, it could be on for him here. Save, but still it couldn't quite hang on. He's blocked it. Will it happen for them? Played into the centre. A decisive clearance it was. So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, you Hold on, Derek. Chance here. And it's in! A goal for Manchester United, who find themselves now level. So, a level contest. 1-1. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Well, the managers will now deliver their half time. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Suchek. Declan Rice. 
Well, they couldn't hang on to it, West Ham. Fred. Here's Ronaldo. And showing fine vision. And the ball is loose. Terrific piece of anticipation. Tremendous intuition to win it. Ronaldo! It's still alive. Capable of so much better from that position. Sancho. And crossed in the direction of the back post. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Well, the story surrounding Cristiano Ronaldo is usually a positive one. And tonight, no exception. Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half, as they've struggled at times today. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Jared Bowen. Chance here. And still dangerous. Well, nothing comes of it. Cristiano Ronaldo. Jaden Sancho. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Might be dangerous. And the referee says corner kick. Not problematic for the keeper. Declan Rice. Lanzini. Intercepting it intelligently. And breaking at pace with Menace. Bruno Fernandes. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Lanzini. And let's give credit to the defending. And running in behind. Oh, it looked as though he might be through. Not so. Pull from the keeper, and they'll come again. Well, what can we say? All's well that ends well. Well, he's just about recovered the situation. That could have been very embarrassing. Lanzini. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Can they push ahead on the closing stages? Rice. And here's Lanzini. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Diogo Dallo. Not a great pass. Promising looking attack from West Ham. Well, these West Ham fans are driving their team forward here. Just listen to this noise. They can sense a winner coming here. Jared Bowen. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. On and on he goes. And a chance for Manchester United now from the corner late on in this game. And that is that. The 90 minutes have come and...
town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul Sweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire
news here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Ham United versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. How can he take them on and beat them? And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. And underway again, it's West Ham in front. Thomas and it's a quality pass well there's a keeper on song well how did he stop that that's just unbelievable and short it is Kieran Tierney White superb block Partey possibilities and the cross not sufficiently well played in Martin Odegaard Tierney teammate available determined defending Tierney Martinelli this could level it defensive excellence there now sending it in well cleared away behind for another corner can they cash in well they're going for the short one firing it towards goal and the keeper had the measure of it and the danger is averted Oh, left his man behind here. Lanzini. In possession, Bowen. Antonio. Oh, great defending. Granit Xhaka. Well, as we can see, Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and they've played some good football. It's just now about taking one of those chances to get back into oh, the game. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. Just couldn't get it through. Suchek. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Declan Rice. Superbly read and executed. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Lanzini. And space for the cross. Suchek. Well, he's given it away. And the ruling is offside here. Suchek. So the whistle then. We're up the... So the ball is rolling again. Arsenal trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? An awful lot of green space to run into. Lacazette. Showing patience. Looking for the equaliser. The attack carried promise, but petered out. 
The high press was very much on. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Ben Rama. Well, they couldn't hang on to it, West Ham. Granit Xhaka. Gabriel Martinelli. Saka. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Antonio. Aaron Cresswell. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Declan Rice. A fine use of the ball. Lanzini. Nicely timed tackle. Lacazette. Saka. Defensive efficiency personified. Antonio. And space for West Ham in the wide position. Suchek. Rice with it. The ball back with Arsenal now. Lanzini. Take it away. And into the last 15 minutes of action. The delivery. But goalkeeper's ball. Disappointingly for them. Lanzini. Promising looking attack from West Ham. Said Benrama. Lanzini. Press well. He has time to play it over. Shot attempted. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. On the attack in the closing phase. Just can't get it past him. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. Well, the marking was tight. The header off target in the end. Ben Rama. He's taken on his opponent here. Aaron Cresswell. Here's Manuel Lanzini. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. The final whistle and the Gunners go down. Jack it up.
The lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea begins in goal. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Scott McTominay in midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. Crossing possibilities. Teammate available. An alert piece of defending. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today, Alexandre Lacazette. Every pass hitting its target. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. But he's retrospectively awarded the free kick, having let it flow initially. Top class defending. Nice looking pass. Lacazette. And he's won the ball. And taken away. Arsenal have possession again. Sancho. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Gabriel. Gabriel Martinelli. Granit Xhaka. Lacazette here. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Sancho. He's lost it. Tommy Yasu. Not the pass he had in mind. Bruno Fernandes. Fruitful looking attack. And a chance for them to nudge in front. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Fred. Terrific block. Granite Jacka. Martin Odegaard. Saka. Lacazette. And there's the feed into the box. Over the byline. Hence a goal kick. Jaden Sancho. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Cristiano Ronaldo. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Partey. Now Lacazette. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And in the perfect position to read it. And a chance. Odegaard. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. So back underway with United looking to plot a route back into this game. What can they do from here? Options in the centre. Failure to keep the ball by United. So a throw in here. Saka and a more than satisfactory first half showing from Martin Odegaard. 
sum up his performance for us. Well, Derek, after a slow start... But... Wonderful chance! Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off! Wonderful to have that in your repertoire! So, 2-0 now. Committed challenge. Well, that pass easy on the eye. The end product just wasn't there. Superb block. Sancho. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. Had to come up with the ball and did. An alert intervention. United might be able to cash in. Could cross it in here. Ronaldo. Can they put it away? What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Martin Odegaard breaking at pace. Not an easy one to cut out, really. An attack full of promise. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. And Ronaldo takes on the shot. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Well, at last, the fans have something to cheer about. It needs a good delivery now. So the corner played into the box. Oh, he couldn't finish it off. And the keeper wasn't exactly perfectly positioned. Well, that's a bad miss. He had so much of the goal to aim for. That was a really big chance. Tierney. He's given it away. Jaden Sancho. Ronaldo. Arsenal have it back. And being pressed here. They've lost possession here, Arsenal. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Fred. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, threat about it. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Superb effort to keep it in. Ronaldo striding forward with confidence. Scott McTominay. Happy to take on the shot. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Short corner it is. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. The referee's whistle.
Field, one of the most storied venues anywhere in the football world. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Liverpool against Leicester City. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, they have it again. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And they've given him too much space. And the penalty is given. The referee right on the spot. And now a chance for them to take the lead here. And a timely penalty save. Well, opting for the short corner. Useful ball to the near post. It might still be problematic. Well, in any game, Sadio Mane is likely to be an important contributor. Stewart, what kind of display do you expect to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Must take the lead here. Able to close down the shot. Good pressure high up the pitch. And back with Thomas. James Madison. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. The Foxes moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? A move of promise on the flank. Defensive resilience to shut them down. And a long way out here. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Liverpool have given it away. See the mans. Liverpool have the ball once more. Salah. And that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. Nicely cut out. A danger here as he runs at them. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And foul it is then. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Will this corner bear fruit for them? Well, thumped clear. McMahon. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Madison. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And great work to confuse the defender. But the danger averted for now. It is to be a throw-in. Leicester have it back. Harvey Barnes. Dakar. Madison with it. Takes it on. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. And Liverpool get the ball moving again, looking to find a reply to that setback. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far.
And now the second half is underway. Salah. And this is Diogo Jota now. An awful lot of green space to run into. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Alexander Arnold. Fabinho. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. He made it look simple, really. And there might well be scope for them to counter attack here. Has eyes for goal. Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike. Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. Well, a second goal for them here. Diogo Jota. Intelligent threaded pass here. Still a chance. Well, threat about it. Something to worry about here. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, away they go again. Liverpool still behind, but they're making this a contest. And using his body to good effect. Diogo Jota. Henderson has it. Liverpool in a position of menace. Henderson. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. That is how to apply the pressure. They might be able to get in now. And he read it well, intercepting it. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, it petered out. Mane. Jota. And Leicester come away with it. Harvey Barnes. Tielemans. Targets available. Cross comes in. No worries for the keeper. Well, Liverpool need to step it up here because their fans have been brilliant. Can they get this equaliser? This could be the equaliser. He's foiled them on his own. And the counter looks on here. Options available. McMahon. Tielemans. An effective challenge. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Well, courage has to be part of every keeper's makeup. Well, it's so easy to commit a foul there, but he's got that absolutely right. And snuffing out the danger. Well, still pressing for a goal here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. The time is running out for Liverpool, and their fans are demanding more urgency. They've got to get that ball into the box and make things happen, but they're going to have to do it quickly. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Diogo Jota. Oh, great attacking play.
set for what should be a terrific night of football here at Anfield. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson and it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Liverpool taking on Chelsea. Yes, thanks as always Derek. We've got two good teams here so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Hang on, Derek. What a chance this is. Started. How will they respond to that goal? And they'll get ready for the throw in. Jorginho. Lukaku. Read it through by Lukaku. Nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Diogo Jota. Jota. Lukaku. Lukaku. Aspili Quesa. Getting in there to intercept. An easy one to cut out, really. Moving into the advanced position. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Oh, nice ball over the top to Chase. And he could cash in. Surely. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Something to worry about here comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that good pressure high up the pitch and teammates to play it to he made it look simple really and he read it well intercepting it Thiago can he take advantage and it's gone in Teams separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, a second goal for them here. Beautifully weighted ball. Mane. Chance here. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. The high press was very much on. Real chance. A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Well, we're shortly going to hear the half-time whistle. It's Liverpool on top. And Stuart, they've been impressive. Well, when they play like this, they're such a good team to watch. Their passing, movement and finishing have been of the highest quality. 
if they continue to play at this pace for the rest of the game, who knows how many they could score. Lukaku. Mount. Oh, surely. And so danger here. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Fabinho. And that brings to an end the first half. So the second half is underway and we're still reflecting on what was a dizzying performance by Liverpool in the first 45. Diogo Jota. Did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Hudson Odoi. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Going well. Jorginho. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Fabinho. And this is Diogo Jota now. And Thiago lost custody of it. Possession lost. Jorginho. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Mount. Conte. Romelu Lukaku now. Hudson Odoi firing it in. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And he's fired over the corner. Just the clearance that was needed. Lukaku. Conte has it. Into the advanced position. Still could put it away. Brilliantly blocked. Lukaku. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Mane. Henderson. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. kick to Chelsea he's given us away now we're inside the final 15 minutes Read it magnificently and intercepted. That's a splendid pass from Romelu Lukaku. Oh, could be a chance. Still alive. And it took a touch on the way through. So a corner here. Couldn't keep it. Lukaku. Able to get a body in the way. So the corner played into the box. Well, still an issue here. Oh, he's given it away inexplicably. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Opportunity. Oh, a superb save. Trying to pick out a teammate. 
Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Able to skip past his man. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Now well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. The final whistle then.
the King Power Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Leicester City taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Can he finish this? He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! So, Chelsea restart the game. Can they come up with an answer? Ricardo Pereira. James Madison. Well read to win possession back. Hudson Odoi. What can they do from here? A mischievous effort. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Lukman and there to intervene and providing width Lukaku won it back Harvey Barnes here's Tielemans Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. Marcos Alonso. Marcos Alonso. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Not a great pass. And that puts them in position, but they're not being allowed to continue. It's offside. Well, he had the vision to pick out the pass, but he couldn't play it quite quickly enough. James Madison. And a fine tackle. Ndidi, James Madison, failed to keep hold of it. Lukman, oh, lovely incisive pass. It's offside, and perhaps he should have been a bit more alert. And maybe a little bit more aware in the box. He was just too static. Marcus Alonso. Conte, Jorginho, he has time to play it over, Lukaku, oh he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal, keeper has it now, well there you have it, they haven't been good enough going forward, they've created very little so far, they need to play with much more urgency, well he was in the right place to intercept, Ndidi, and with that, the first half draw. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Thomas. James Madison. Dakar. Committed challenge. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Aspili Quetta. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. 
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. Lukman. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Christensen. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Conte. Keeping the ball moving. And the cross is very much on. Lukaku. That's all they can conjure for now. James Madison. Counter-attacking very much an option. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. N'Golo Conte. Mount. Opportunity here. So there we have it, 2-1. Plenty of room in the wide area. But they dealt with the threat first. Lukaku. Not an easy one to cut out, really. Well, what a brilliant atmosphere we've got here. These Leicester fans deserve an equaliser, that's for sure. Ndidi encouraging move from Leicester well nothing comes of it it looked promising now we're inside the final 15 minutes oh he's given the ball away Lukaku, here's Mount, Romelu Lukaku now, good tackle, Harvey Barnes, plenty of players waiting in the middle, can he finish, save but still a chance, sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team and a chance it is for Chelsea from the corner it might still be problematic an alert piece of defending can he put them in front there's still danger here well nothing untoward happened well Leicester have to score soon time is running out but these fans can sense a winner coming and the referee Hesitating
hesitating Kryptonite desire Set my heart afire
news anywhere in the football world. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Liverpool against Leicester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback positions. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And Liverpool come away with it. Thiago and he's taken it away explosive attacking qualities can be so important look no further than Mo Salah I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best he glides past defenders he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space he can pick out a pass oh hang on Stuart it's a chance and not cleared away properly and problem solved for now well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. And the flag does go up offside. Salah. And he takes on the shot. Oh, that's a fine save. Well, the short corner routine. Henderson. Terrific block. Man. Brilliant save. What well, a bad pass it was. Has eyes for goal. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Played over. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, visionary passing. He might be able to make it through. And a goal as is. The keeper really not part of the equation. And the Foxes get us moving again. A swift reply required after the setback. Corner awarded. Well, they fancy a short one. Spot on with that tackle. And there to intervene. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. And he read it really well. Fine save. Let's see about the delivery. Goalkeeper's ball. It was always going to be that way. Error by the keeper. Might give them a chance. Giving it a try. And no way through. Well, a big sigh of relief. That nearly proved costly. Well, he got away with that one, didn't he? It's a good recovery, though. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Fabinho. And that brings. So into the second half, Liverpool in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this is over.
Fabinho. Here is Thiago. Thiago! Well, it so nearly went in, but the post having its say. Well, that's a great effort, isn't it? He caught that really well. That deserved a goal. Well, Diogo Jota heavily involved in the first half. Sum up his performance for us. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front. Well, the chance is on, Stuart. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Can he play it in? Alexander Arnold. Now well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Jordan Henderson with bodies around him. Thiago. Well, we're into the final half hour. Tielemans. And dispossessed. Henderson. Jota. Good defending. Could be a chance to break here. Diogo Jota. Mane. Sadio Mane. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Over it comes. And teammates to play it to. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Well, Liverpool can get ready for the set-piece routine, hoping to increase their lead. Fabinho... And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Let's see about the delivery. Really a very poor ball. Dispossessed there. Tremendous piece of tackling. Wonderfully weighted pass. Madison. He cuts it back. This could be the equaliser. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Salah. And this is Diogo Jota now. And Liverpool couldn't hang on to it. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. And collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. Thiago. Just cutting off the supply. Well, these Liverpool fans are making so much noise here. The atmosphere is incredible. Surely this must be inspiring the players to hang on. One minute of stoppage time has been added on space afforded him oh this is looking promising well a corner it is and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game and still a chance pulls it back able to close down the shot who can he pick out and that is the end of the game. The referee blows for four.
Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, can't make colds collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Dripping lights, paint the skies, all because. Sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is Mane! Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. The cross jumps over from Mane. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Robertson. Henderson. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And a tidy tackle. Can he put them in front? Will the fan... Oh! Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? That's Billy Quetta. Crossing possibilities. Perfect challenge. Corner it is for Chelsea. That still could be dangerous. Danger averted for now. Henderson. Now Mo Salah. Thiago. Now can they make something happen? But they dealt with the threat posed. Can they take advantage? And a chance to level it. And thumped away. Well, that's one for them to pursue. What a genuine opportunity. But it was squandered. Goal kick. Chelsea couldn't maintain possession. Mane, here is Thiago, and Thiago, that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances, and there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here, they need to get bodies back, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end, nearing the break here and Liverpool hold the edge Stuart how about your assessment of what you've seen from them in this first 45 
Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Opportunity. Well, it's gone in. A goal for Chelsea, who now are level. So back underway. One goal apiece here. And he's won the ball. Jorginho. It looks promising. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Henderson. It's with Fabinho. Thiago. Diogo Jota. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now making high pressing work for them here. Henderson. No more time left. First half is... Well, they've kicked off the second half here at Anfield. Salah. Top-class defending. Counter-attacking very much an option. Mount. Well, it fizzled out. Great pressure to win the ball back. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, this man, Romelu Lukaku, a very difficult opponent, and the verdict, Stuart, has to be positive. Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal, because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. Jorginho. Chance to attack using width. Lukaku might fancy it, you know. Well, not cleared away completely. And problem solved for now. Unable to keep the ball that time. Excellent vision. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Diogo Jota. Henderson has it. Encouraging move from Liverpool. Alexander Arnold. Teammates in support. A oh, strong hand on the ball. And the flag does go up offside. Well, the stats tell you everything. They've created opportunities, they've created chances, but they just haven't taken any. It's been a really poor display in front of goal. They've got to do a lot better with their finishing. Thiago Silva. And Golo Conte. Good tackle. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Lukaku. Now Alonso. And well, there might well be scope for them to counter attack here. Well, I think a winner's coming here, as do these Liverpool fans. They're making so much noise now. Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. And fired against the crossbar. And a goal it is. The keeper ready not part of the equation. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Lukaku. And that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Well, approaching full-time, Liverpool with a narrow lead here. Can they make it a victory? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expensive... Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score! And that's a very good parry. Applying vigorous pressure. Lukaku. On to Jorginho. They've lost it. Alexander-Arnold. 
And just five minutes remaining. And an astute piece of defending. Well, Liverpool have played well today, but they've also had great backing from the top. Just listen to the noise in here. stoppage time situation one minute here oh he's through here the final whistle then the referee says that
conditions. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson and it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leicester City taking on Chelsea. Well Derek, when looking forward to this game you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. James Madison well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel is the keeper. Yannick Vestergaard plays with Chalar Soyuncu in central defence. Yuri Tielemans plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, what a stop that was. It comes to nothing in the end. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Nicely timed tackle. And scope for them to produce something exciting. N'Golo Conte. On the ball, Aspili Quetta. Really good interception. Jorginho. Conte now. Beautifully disguised ball. Terrific piece of anticipation. Now he'll be irked with himself. Ran into an offside position. Harvey Barnes. Lovely work to get past his man. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Daka. Madison. Went in strongly, decisively. Has a go. And keeping it out. They favoured a short one here. Teammate available. Madison. And it should have been the first goal of the game. Well, I can't believe that chance has been squandered. That should have been the opener. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Hudson Odoi. Lukaku. Oh, this is looking promising. And no way through.
Tielemans. Daka. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Conte. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Hudson Odoi. It's with Marcos Alonso. Tremendous challenge. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Defenders need to cover. He's in behind. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. And with that. Well, the ball is moving once more. Not enough went to plan for Chelsea in the first half. Can they address what didn't go right? And as they continue to pass it around, the attack goes through Lukaku. Conte. Losing custody of it, Conte. Lukaku in position. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, James Madison certainly was influential in the first 45. Sum up his performance for us. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half. Scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on. How can he take them on and beat them? Lukaku. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Conte. And will it be the leveller? Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Daka. Chance to play it in. He's lost it. Tielemans now indeedy Harvey Barnes it might be no goal it won't count the flag was raised well he did finish it well but I think everybody knew he was offside there and a strong tackle Thomas now. Tielemans. No worries for the keeper. Hudson Odoi. Conte. And he's won the ball. And the decision is one of offside here. Ndidi James Madison Ricardo Pereira Oh, big opportunity Spect Oh, denied him brilliantly Well, that would have wrapped it up, wouldn't it? What a brilliant save that is Well, that was a good save, and it's kept them in it, but they have to do more going forward. Well, getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Oh, they've lost it. 
Ngoro Conte. Aspili Quetta now. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. So the final whistle and Chelsea take... No
Bayern from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Bayern Munich versus Eintracht Frankfurt. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. This looks promising. Surely, terrific piece of anticipation. Here's the initial 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Niklas Zule starts with Dario Upamecano in central defence. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And leading the line today, Robert Lewandowski. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. He's in behind. Close, but offside nonetheless. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Rode. Gibril So. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Müller Gnabry Splendid defending and it needed to be well, So much to like about Serge Gnabry He can pop up in attacking positions He can score goals Stu We wonder who was going to win the race The answer, the goalkeeper Very good tackle. Kamada. And nicely struck. Well, the goalkeeper managed to make the save without much difficulty in the end. Leroy Zane. Here's Hernandez. And successfully cut out. behind for him to chase oh so near but just unable to keep the shot down Hernandez might be able to set up the chance and turned onto the woodwork and snuffing out the danger and joy here in the form of a goal for Thomas Müller, the first goal of the evening. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's we'll see what happens next. Leroy Zane. Hernandez. And Bayern Munich now in potentially a dangerous position. Tries to lift it, and a good save. Well, it is a good save. The idea was good. The execution wasn't. So nearing the break, and it's Bayern holding the edge. Stuart, how about your critique of their performance so far? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Well, failure to keep the ball by Bayern. Rode. Gibril So. An attack full of promise. Firing it in. And a fantastic diving save. And over comes the corner. And the problem not completely solved. And problem solved for now. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. 
Bore. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And the emphasis is on creativity. Well, Thomas Müller capable of doing so many things out there on the pitch to help his team, and he's delivering in this one, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations, and he had a real impact on the play. Well, they get themselves level here. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Who can he pick out? Well, just couldn't quite control the header, and a disappointing effort in the end. Lewandowski. Gnabry. Lewandowski. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. They've lost it. set up for the counter-attack, you know. But quick thinking defensively. Sané. Not at all problematic for the goalkeeper. Ndika. Possession one. Well, he didn't catch it badly, but certainly questions to be asked about the lack of accuracy there. He's showing a real will to win the ball. And what can they do to stop him running at them? But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Well, it's Bayern's turn now. showing a willingness to attack as they must given the circumstances time running out what late excitement and the match is level so the ball is rolling again at one all Leroy Zane now with Tolisso Joshua Kimmich On to Torriso. Forward momentum from Bayern. It's the, and it was straight up the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. And we will have just one additional minute. And that is that. The 90 minutes have come and gone.
this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Bayern Munich up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And so they start at 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. And here's how it looks for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper. Nico Elvedi plays alongside Matthias Ginter in central defence. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. Nicely timed tackle. Braille Embolo. Going well. And teammates to play it to. Strong but fair tackle. A wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. Well, flinging himself at the ball. But he's gone short with it. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. Elects to go short. Crossed into the penalty area. Determined defending. A foul, but advantage Bayern. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? It is a decent-looking attack here. Goalkeeper's ball, the cross delivered too close to him. Bayern have given it away again. Very difficult challenge to perform, but he succeeded. Options in the middle, so after that, a goal kick it'll be. Sabaini perfectly positioned to take it away and space to attack he's in control of the situation well timed tackle now can they make something happen very quick thinking there. Hoffman. On to Leiner. Hoffman. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. The clearance wasn't decisive. No real conviction in the challenge. Now the attack fizzled out. Hoffman must take the lead here. Oh, he's blocked it. A chance now with the corner. That is that. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. it well defensively
Serge Gnabry. And Bayern Munich now in potentially a dangerous position. Alassane Player. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And just losing control of the ball. And it will be a throw-in. Tremendous ball played through. And now waiting to pounce. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Hoffman. But he could run onto it here. And diving to thwart him. Now sending it in. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Bowling home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, Bayern restart the game. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. Useful looking position, you've got to say. But quick thinking defensively. Excellent defending. Lewandowski. They've given it away. He's got the right idea with that pass. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Keen to take it short here. And far from the ideal cross. Keeper's ball all the way. And cut out by Torizo. And they know they need to stop him. Muller. Lewandowski. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Gnabry. Alassane Player. No, high quality defending. Clock ticking, time against Bayern, but still they could fight back. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, not hard to read that pass. Good movement. And can they create something? Well, that surely would have put this game to bed. Well, definitely. That would have won the game for them. That's a bad miss. And it comes down to the final five minutes. And the cross goes in. Well, not the best clearance. And problem solved for now. Müller. Gnabry with it. Gnabry. Teammate and support. Well, it's the late show, and they are level again. And that is the whistle.
occasions Stuart Robson and the focus is on the Bundesliga live action coming up it's Eintracht Frankfurt up against Borussia Mönchengladbach well thanks Derek the best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play if you can win your individual battles outrun your opponent eventually you'll get the space to show your ability I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today just made sure nothing came of that And a strong tackle. And here's how it looks for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper. Nico Elvedi plays alongside Matthias Ginter in central defence. And it's an interesting-looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. Options in the middle. And a tidy tackle. Now well, they've lost the ball. Moving it forward. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger. Hoffman. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. 
it's a fantastic save to keep it all square. In the right place to cut out the pass. Might be dangerous. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Couldn't keep it. It's a good looking ball in behind. A decisive clearance it was. Excellent defending. Chandler. He has time to play it over. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And attempting the through ball. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. This looks promising. Can he put it away? Real chance. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Well, that is annoying for any manager to see your own player giving the ball away from a throw-in. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Well, that is how to play advantage. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Very quick thinking there. Did look on for them, but not to be. Rafael Santos Boré. Can he put it away? Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Well, he likes to run at them, but really sticking to their task defensively. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Rafael Santos Boré. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Decent position. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. Bonsabaini played into the center. Oh, a moment of pure class! Unbridled joy for him and the supporters! Are back underway, and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Options in the middle. Giving it a try. Body in the way. They favoured a short one here. Crisp tackling. Just not looking confident in possession. Player. And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. 
front. So 2 0 now. Gibril so Martin Hinteregger Rafael Santos Bore crossing opportunity now can they counter clinically and he might be through here defending of the highest class to stop him an attack full of promise. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Oh, just over the bar. Seemed to catch it with the top of his head. Good opportunity, that. So the final whistle almost upon us. And this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, it's been oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Well, nothing tight about that decision. Offside all the way. Possession lost, intercepted. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Defended well. And unable to keep possession. on the target and who knows that might very well be that well that's a bad miss and probably ends their hopes here Kone with it brilliant piece of skill good looking ball and now it's with Embaro it should be able to defend it and still a chance And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment.
for commentary by Stuart Robson and we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up it is Bayern Munich facing Eintracht Frankfurt well Derek we can talk about coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players which ones are going to stand out who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire it should be a cracking game though here's the initial 11 for Bayern Manuel Neuer between the posts Niklas Zule starts with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And leading the line today, Robert Lewandowski. Throw-ins given. How about the cross? Must take the lead here. Just couldn't get it through. Can't miss, surely. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, as Bayern get the ball moving again, how will they react?
Pavard. I must say, this looks promising. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle, and a corner will be next. Tolisso. Now with Lewandowski. An alert piece of defending. Well, foul play, says the referee. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story next time, no doubt. Quite clearly offside. So, lovely ball over the top. Early ball in. Well, still an issue here. And I think the threat has been averted. Beautifully weighted ball. And they could do damage. Can he get them level? And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Kostic, intelligent threaded pass here, but ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in. Well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. The cross is on. This could square the game. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Let's see about the delivery. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. And a goal to level it up for Bayern. So underway again following the goal that made things level. Müller. Serge Gnabry. Bayern have given it away. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Daichi Kamada. Order now. And space to attack. Fine cross into the middle. Making sure nothing came of it. Must take the lead here. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. The high press was on, and the chance is on. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Toriso. Chandler has it. Toriso just lacked accuracy. A mischievous effort. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. After falling behind, the onus is on Bayern to come up with a response. A really top-notch piece of defending. Gnabry. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Good-looking ball. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. And it's played into the centre. The clearance wasn't decisive. And very deftly cut out. So, a half an hour remaining. Corentin Tolisso. Bayern pushing forward with options available. 
And the counter looks on here. Options available. All hands on deck. Perfect tackle. Sané. And there's the feed into the box. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, Frankfurt haven't had that much of the ball so far, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. And dispossessed. Chandler. And one step of the rest there, Toriso. Serge Gnabry. Well, what a dramatic finish we could have here. These Bayern fans are certainly ramping up the atmosphere now. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. But really sticking to their task defensively. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Rafael Santos Boré. Opportunity! Couldn't put it away. Offside, however. Well, he'll certainly be pleased to see the flag go up there because that was a poor miss. Good visualisation and execution. on a crucial intervention inside the box. Clears it away. an interesting pass Rafael Santos Boré less than convincing defending and collected tidily he had plenty to think about well it hasn't been a great performance but the fans have been brilliant just listen to the noise can the players respond and find this equaliser Gibril so now just couldn't keep oh in with a chance now what can they produce on the flank and that is that the referee blows his whistle for full time When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too
Joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It is Bayern Munich up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Read it well. Here's the initial 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Niklas Zule starts. Moment here, Derek. And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today. 1-0 then. Lewandowski. And return to Gnabry. of the situation Sané now with Zule Tolisso Lewandowski and it goes two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here well, a second goal for them here A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Serge Gnabry, well, racing past his man. Could play it in. Tremendous challenge. Florian Neuhaus. It's opening up for them. Play towards the back post. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next?
Sané. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Leroy Sané. Thomas Müller. Well, the ball lost here. comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that lovely first touch that was as easy Lewandowski looks promising here from Lewandowski this run well, let's see about the cross well what a stop that was and the short option preferred and he stopped them in their tracks. Elvedi. There's a slide draw pass. Müller. Gnabry. And narrowly off target here. Well, it's still all to play for, but that was a good effort, wasn't it? Well, half time coming up shortly. It's a story of Bayern on top. Stuart, your take. Well, it's been a good first half so far, and they've been the better side, certainly going forward. They now just need to keep playing with intensity right up to the break. They're getting in there to intercept. Defensive efficiency personified. And with that. And the ball is moving again. Bayern Munich in front. But there might still be a few twists and turns before this match is over. Corentin Torisso. This is Müller. He would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Really vital interception here. Robert Lewandowski illuminating in the first half of this game, Stuart. Yes, he's played well, hasn't he? Obviously took his goal well, but his overall performance has been impressive too. Hopefully he and the rest of the team can maintain that level into the second half. This looks promising. Terrific block. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Promising move this from Bayern. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, it fizzled out. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. That is how to apply the pressure. And the ball's gone. Tony So would have been a foul, but instead, advantage Bayern. Pavard. Good use of advantage by the referee in Bayern's favour. Long distance effort. Keeper did his job. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Tony So! And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. And now they have the ball back. And a throw in it's going to be. Nice looking pass. He takes aim and not cleared away properly. Oh my goodness, he's caught that so well. A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, there it is. 3 1 the current scoreline here. Well, spot
comes on with that challenge. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. Ten minutes to go then. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. No way through. Hoffman. And now it's with Embaro. Might really be able to trouble them here. Neuhaus. Can they convert? And a decent save. Full credit. Short corner it is. And Bayern doing well to win it back. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Getting forward. And that's a very good parry. It's got to be! Well, it might still work out for them. Can he find the net? Really vital interception. And that is the end of the...
cities, Frankfurt. We're here at the Deutsche Bank Park. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder, Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Eintracht Frankfurt up against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, thanks Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. Has and the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happens. And here's how it looks for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Nico Elvedi plays alongside the team. Here, Derek. And it's come off the keeper. At times they make passing look easy. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Are back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Bore. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. And it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Strong but fair tackle. Well, I'm not sure the keeper particularly wanted that, but danger averted for now. Just too much on that pass. We saw the situation developing. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! So there we have it, 2-1. Tremendous challenge. Daichi Kamada, extremely sloppy in possession. Hoffman, can he get them level? Chance to set up an equaliser from the corner. Keen to take it short here, just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. This could square the game. Oh, crucial tackle, brilliant. Chandler can they create something from here Rafael Santos Bore can he do it it's a 
Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, no way through. Cuts it back. And it goes! The leveler! Thrilling stuff here! So, underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Embolo. A fine reading of the situation. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. And the whistle is sounded for... And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Kone with it. Kamada. And a good-looking ball. He's in position. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. And now the delivery. Well, they've been quiet for a while now, but this has got them going. Oh, they've lost it. Rafael Santos Boré. Koskic. Great opportunity. say defences are on top 3-2 a good and fair challenge far from a good pass and they've given him too much space Von Sabaini delightful pass and a promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end made it look simple really well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass and a foul in the opinion of the referee now what can they do from this free kick situation well the free kick needed to be a lot better than that straight into the wall well, the counter chance looks very real. Went in strongly, decisively. Very quick thinking there. Perfectly positioned to take it away. This could be the equaliser. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Kostic. And a chance for him on the flank. to pick out a teammate not the result from the set piece they were looking for and continues his run oh he's left his marker for dead and into the clutches of the goalkeeper Florian Neuhaus Useful looking position, you've got to say. And let's give credit to the defending. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And what a great challenge. Free kick here. He plays it short. And winning it back.
got to be really mindful of the time. A goal! Sheer excitement! Level again here! They've really got to give credit to the entire team because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest. Level pegging, but can they change that? Oh, surely! And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Well, that'll be a free kick. Well, some referees might have reached for the yellow card, but not this one. Yeah, another foul, and he will get a yellow card, that's for sure. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. And there goes the final whistle. It's...